hog fans, welcome back to another episode of Recalling Those Hogs. I'm Haley Tate Webb, and I'm here today with former Racerback basketball player Jalen Barford. Jalen, thanks for joining me today. Thanks for having me. All right, I got to start with my personal favorite question. So if you had to challenge one former teammate to a game of one-on-one -on -one right here, right now, who are you confident you could beat? Uh, uh, former teammate. I would probably say uh, Anton Beard. Okay. Anton, are you you're winning? Oh, yeah, for sure. Definitely winning. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, talk to me a little bit about your recruitment and journey to Arkansas and just how you ended up there. Uh, my recruitment to Arkansas, was it was nice. Um, I went to Milo State for two years at junior college in uh, Tullahoma, Tennessee. And um, – they they actually recruited me at high school too as well, so it was it was fun. Uh, they stayed loyal to me. They kept recruiting me, and it was just fun. You know, I enjoyed my visit up there as well. The coaching staff was great. I had a great experience in two years in Arkansas. Yes, we're so glad that you ended up in Arkansas. All right, what's the scouting report on College Jalen Barford? Uh, can't let him get hot. Uh, stay a test, I would say. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. Just just try to contain them as much as possible, I would say. Yeah. All right. Okay. Is there one memory that stands out as a favorite to you from your time as a Razorback? Uh, yes. Um, I would say, I think it was New Year's Eve, first SEC game in Blue Walton Arena. It was crazy. I remember that environment. The fans were great. It was cold outside, but the fans were great. It was a great environment. Um, I actually played a great team, great Tennessee team. I think they were number 21 in the country at the time. And it was just great how we uh, played them and came back and won the game in overtime. So it was fun. Yeah, was that the craziest game you think you've experienced in Bud Um, I think it, it – I, I would say it's top. I would say it's top five, maybe, in my okay. experience, yeah. Talk to me a little bit about the Bud Wong crowd. What's it like playing in front of that crowd? Uh, it's it's lovely. Uh, it's always been a, a dream to play in a big arena. It was in front of a lot of fans and the whole 20,000. I think we, almost every game we had was sold out, so it was, it was great uh, just to have the fans come. Even during the week when we had the sold out games, it was, it was love, you know. Uh, Mm -hmm. I just came to support us as much as possible. Okay. Did you have any crazy pregame superstitions? What did your routine look like before big games? Uh, I really just chill, uh, lay down, listen to slow jams, you know, just a little mix it up, just a little bit to ease my mind, maybe take a nap. And that's really it, you know. Just the, I wasn't too superstitious. I just did the same thing every pregame. Yeah. What artists are on that slow jams playlist? Uh, I had a little shuffle, so I heard a, I heard a lot of Drake here and there. His Take Care album, it got me through a lot of days, a lot of games. Uh, I would say sometimes with Beyonce, I go in there a little bit. You know, some top artists, some good slow jams. Yeah, yeah, can't go wrong with any of those. Okay, if we had a pickup game with that 17-18 team that had you, Gafford, uh, Macon Beard, all those guys versus last year's red-hot Razorback team, which team are you taking? Which one do you think is going to win? Oh, my team, for sure. Guaranteed. For sure? For sure. Is it even close? Not even close, no. Okay. Okay, got to go with the home team. There you go. <laughs> All right, talk to me a little bit about your basketball journey since you left Arkansas and how that's gone for you. Uh, it's been great. You know, um, after, after I left Arkansas, I, was, um, I signed to um, the Timberwolves Summer League team. But I didn't get to play that much in the Summer League. So I signed. I ended up signing with uh, Charlotte Hornets. I, I played a couple of preseason games and um, – Got a chance to experience the practices with uh, great players. And then I ended up playing with the G League team. I had a great year with the G League team. I think I averaged probably about 18 or 19 points. Um, and then this past season, I was in Italy. And that was a great experience for me as well. I had a lot of fun. Uh, got a chance to experience their culture, how they're living. And it was just great for me, you know, just to see other people and 
just see how they Kubre without, you know, in my own world. I was in their world. So it was just fun for me. And before COVID hit, of course, uh, I, was, I was having a great time in Italy. I was in Pedro for my first team, and I was in Rome. And Rome was amazing for the short time I was there. So I had a great time. How I'm just curious, how is it different um, in Europe than it is here in America for basketball? Uh, it's, uh, it was, I tell people it's more like a college basketball because you can play zone. Um, you know, it's no three seconds and it's more physical, of course, because, uh, and it's more defensive minded. So it's, it's just, it's real tough, you know, especially if you're a scorer. I mean, uh, they're, they're really going to key in on you, play man to man. Um, maybe it's some boxing ones here and there. It depends though. Like, cause I was top five scoring the league. So it was, it was it was tough night in and night out. I had to come prepared for whatever. So it was great though. It was great for me. Yeah. All right. Well, before I let you go, let me know what you're up to now. Plans for the future. What you're looking forward to. Uh, right now I'm just chilling on my swing outside. You know, just enjoying life. But I'm supposed to leave soon. So I, I either I'm going to Germany, Israel, or uh, Australia. So I'm just waiting until my age and get back with me with that. So I'm just enjoying life. You know, working out. Enjoying my daughter and family, so it's been fun. Yeah, well, that's awesome. I wish you the best of luck with that. Look forward to watching you play. Thank you again for joining me. Thank if you, thank you. Yeah, if you're a former Razorback and you want to be featured, reach out to me via the social media and contact information in the description below. Once again, I'm Haley Kate Webb with Jalen Barford, and this has been Recalling Those Hogs.